Hola, buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And I hope you have had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. And if you went Black Friday shopping, I hope you found what you wanted to find and got a good deal. I actually didn't go Black Friday shopping. I did pick some things up online, but I didn't go in stores. And actually, I have never gone Black Friday. Oh, I haven't gone Black Friday shopping in maybe like eight years. For some reason, I have this tradition of like not going Black Friday shopping like the day of. And I just stay home and I actually try to declutter some things. So I actually stayed home all day Black Friday and just went through a huge decluttering and reorganization of my room and my crafting area. And I'm just feeling really inspired with how I have everything set up now. Anyways, I'm here to set up my big thick and juicy home life planner for the new month because we are moving into the month of December. It feels like I just put this cover on my planner and I've really enjoyed the butterflies, but for December, I'm definitely feeling something a little bit more wintry. So I have some ideas of what I want to do with my home life planner and I think the first thing that I'm going to do is like change the cover and then I'm also gonna like check in with the month I've picked out for December and just get my home life planner all set up for the new month, the last month of the year. That's insane. So if you are interested in seeing what I do with my home life planner, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I think I'm gonna change my discs and my cover and I'm thinking of changing the cover to the Stargazer cover. This is one that I feel I've been saving for a wintry month and I'm feeling like using this cover for December because December for me is kind of always, like I think a lot about like celestial things occurring in December. Maybe it's because the Perseids are happening in December that's the like the most um, intense meteor shower of the year and also just the end of the year it just kind of gives me like cyclical astronomical vibes I don't know for some reason I kind of associate this cover with winter so I'm gonna be changing the cover up for this cover and I'm also gonna change the rings up so I'm gonna have to take everything off the rings and I think I'm gonna be changing the rings to these gorgeous lavender um, metal rings so I think that's what we're gonna do and while I take everything off the rings I thought would be fun to give you a flip through of my entire home life planner. I kind of want to change this um, cover page. Um, I just kind of drew it out really quick, didn't, you know, pay too much attention to details. It's not the best scripting I've ever done. And I feel like this cover page is very springy with all the flowers and butterflies and beetles. So I'm thinking of changing this up, but for now we'll leave it. Oh, and something that I've been doing recently is decorating like the calendar pages at the very beginning. I'm always guilty of just kind of ignoring them, but I really want like every inch of my planner to be like super cute. So I've been trying to decorate these pages as the months roll on. So this is April through June. I started my planner in late April. So that's why I have April through June here. And then this is July through September. Sometimes I try to coordinate the stickers and sometimes they're just really, really random. Like this coffee sticker I got like two years ago and I just felt like throwing it on here in September because I didn't really have too much going on um, at the end of September. I'm treating this year at a glance calendar, this perpetual calendar. Let me know what you call this calendar in the comments down below because I always go back and forth between calling it year at a glance and perpetual calendar. I do use this functionally, but I also kind of use this as like another place to journal. It's fun to see like the year at a glance. I just added this road trip sticker here in mid late November for the road trip that we took back from Austin. And this perpetual calendar is from the Pressed Florals Vertical Planner and they actually ended in December. So I actually have like another planner's calendar starting in the next page. 
And then I ended up using just scrapbook paper to cover the back of this perpetual calendar because you know how like the month of July for July start planners, um, it always starts at on the back of the perpetual calendar. So I actually ended up um, putting scrapbook paper here and I set up this habit tracker, this yearly habit tracker. This is something I was inspired by um, Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble. She did something similar I think a year ago or two years ago where she set up one habit that she was going to really prioritize for each month. And I'm thinking of doing that same thing for 2023. So I set up this The Great Habit Tracker spread and I really like how it turned out and I'm really excited to um, work on that. And then this is the January through December like year at a glance calendar. I used Cafecito Designs um, washi tape and some stickers that I've collected from all over. This one I got from the Grand Canyon to decorate this page. And this calendar, these pages are from the season seasonal doodles planner that I think was a Michaels exclusive and I've already kind of started setting up some things here so let me take these pages off I'm hoping to stick with this calendar all year and then on the back of that perpetual calendar again I had the July overview because that planner was a July start and I covered it with scrapbook paper and I put these two photos of me and my boyfriend Steven at Revival Coffee in Austin, Texas. We were just being really cute there in front of the neon sign and I just printed those out and put them here on this page. I just love filling my planner with you know things that make me happy, pictures that make me happy and then this is the divider separating my folders from um, those first initial pages so i have a spoonful of faith folder that i think is just beautiful and i have some stickers um, tucked away in here and these are actually all of my like functional monthly and date stickers i like kind of keeping those close so I know exactly where to reach for when I need number stickers. And then this right here, these right here, um, I'm actually thinking of taking these out, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna take these out, except for this one. I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna put these food stickers in my meal planner calendar instead. And this Rilakkuma sticker sheet, I think I'm gonna take out take it out of its little packaging here and I will tuck these in here I kind of want to tuck in a couple of couple more stickers maybe I'll tuck in some cafecito design stickers in here so I always have like a nice you know assortment of stickers to choose from I'm gonna keep that there I have some more stickers in the back here these are from various like accessory packs and then another folder with some more stickers. I just love the designs of these folders. They make me happy, so I like um, carrying them around. It does make my planner pretty thick though. I have a bunch of stickers from a bunch of like accessory packs from the Happy Planner. So this folder I love because it's that same like adventure awaits theme that my um, my most favorite planner, the Adventure Awaits like Cactus planner. Um, it's the same theme, so I like having this one here. And then we have another divider. Oh, I love this divider so much. This is like one of my all-time favorite designs ever with the Airstream and the desert, gorgeous. This divider is separating my daily sheets. So I think I'm gonna hold on to my daily sheets for a while longer. I think I might clear them out um, at the beginning of the year in January. I'll clear out these daily sheets, but I like having them here for now. So my bookmark, pull this one out. And then I have a couple blank daily sheets. These are from Cody, Cozy Critters. And then I have a daily sheet from Painterly Pastels. And then I have two from Disney Indigo collection. And then these are from the Princess Elegance um, accessory pack. And then I forget where I got this these sheets from, but these are like habit tracker sheets. And then of course I have some big daily sheets from the Butterfly Daily Planner. And then this is something that I just added. These are habit tracker half sheets. I'm 
really inspired by habit tracking lately and I want to get back into habit tracking seriously. So I have a couple of these. And then I just have some half sheet filler paper. I forget where these are from, but I got it from an accessory pack that was on clearance. And then I have two envelopes. I like stuffing these with little stickers that I usually get as freebies or just tiny little sticker sheets that I know I will I'll, I will forget about if I don't, you know, include them in my planner. So I have those. And then I have a longer one. I just have some long to-do sheets in here and anything that, you know, doesn't fit in here, I'll put into this one here. So I'm keeping these with me. And then another um, divider that will separate everything that comes before my actual planner pages. So that goes there and I just love this design here. Okay, so this is where we're actually starting to get into my actual planner. This is the month of October. I decorated um, the divider. This is from the seasonal doodles divider from Happy Planner. I think it was a Michaels exclusive and actually I might just grab it and show you. I keep on saying seasonal doodles planner that was a Michaels exclusive, like you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I realize that not everyone is a happy planner aficionado like I am. So this is the planner that I'm talking about when I say seasonal doodles. This planner is where I got these pages from. And I just love how I decorated it so much. So this was the October monthly. I love how it came out, very seasonal. I just love flipping through my October pages because I did some really awesome spreads, if I do say so myself. This one was just like a classic pumpkin patch spread. And then we have my elegant watercolor pumpkin spread. And then the pastel diva Halloween spread. I love that one. And then classic Halloween. This one actually, I am really pleasantly surprised with how this one turned out. I wasn't a huge fan when I first did it and then I just kept on working on it, adding stickers, decorating, and I'm just like in love with how it turned out. And then, ooh, this is something that I'm really um, happy about. So I just had the November monthly overview on this page and I just didn't know what to do with it because I really had no plans for it. I didn't really feel like doing a currently page. And then something that I've been enjoying doing is adding coloring book pages into my planner. I'll just add them uh, glue them down with Tombow adhesive, put a little washi tape border, and then treat them as just little paintings scattered throughout my planner. And recently I got this amazing coloring book. This is a million kawaii cuties. I think I got this at Michael's and it's just super, super cute. And I felt like um, coloring one day. And so I just put this here and I'm gonna slowly continue to work on this. I might even leave this page out. Like I might, um, like I'm gonna take out this month, the month of October. Um, I'm gonna put this into like where I store like earlier months because I kind of want to like thin down my planner but I might leave this page in here because I'm gonna still work on it but I might take out these scrapbooking pages so this is my scrapbooking section that I did for my road trip that me and my boyfriend took to Carlsbad Caverns and Guadalupe Mountains in early October. I just added this National Park Lover sticker. I'm very, very happy with how this spread turned out. I just got so many stickers when I was at Carlsbad Caverns and Guadalupe Mountains. I printed out a bunch of photos. I like picking up postcards to add to these scrapbooking spreads. I still need a journal here, but um, I just love how it turned out. So I'm actually going to, uh, I think, pop these into like where I store the other months. So I'm gonna put those away. Everything that I'm putting on this pile is going to stay for the month of December. This is a, um, a scrapbooking spread that I did recently. This is the Pumpkin Patch Adventure of 2022. I always try to go to a pumpkin patch out in the country for Halloween to get pumpkins to carve. And I always try to like go with friends and just have a good time going there. And I still need a journal in this one as well, but um, I'll do that at some later date. 
but I just love how this one turned out as well. It's just so much fun to go to pumpkin patches and then just all the memories. Ugh, I love it. I took my baby Daisy, my new pug, to the pumpkin patch. It was her first pumpkin patch. I'm so proud of her. And I also took bugs and I don't think I've ever taken them to a pumpkin patch now that I think about it. So this was a first for both of them. And then this is just all of the pumpkins we carved um, for Halloween. So love that. And then November. So I did the same thing with this divider that I did with the October divider. I decorated it with a bunch of scrapbooking paper and stickers. And I love how this one turned out. It's so much more like festive and fun. Again, it's from the Seasonal Doodles Planner, and I feel like this planner, like the dividers are really, really cute, but I feel like the edges are really plain, and I'm someone who does not like any plain white space, blank space. So this was the monthly, and I really like how it turned out. I actually didn't do as much in this monthly as I did for October. It looks a little bit empty down here and I'm going to try to try to journal in a little bit for the rest of the days that remain in November but um, but yeah it's definitely a little bit more empty than October's uh, and I'm just gonna leave November in the planner for now because again we still have a couple more days until December the 1st it's on Thursday it's currently Saturday so I'm just gonna leave this here for now Oh, and then for November, I actually ended up using a dashboard planner. This was from the Disney Farmhouse Planner. And the first week, um, I did a Dia de los Muertos spread. I love how it turned out. And then this one was just a general like fall-themed spread. And I used um, the Disney seasonal stickers as like the foundation for the spread. And then just used a bunch of just fall related stickers to zhuzh it up. And then this week was the week that we drove back from Austin to California. It was such a long drive, road trip in is one of our favorite things to do. And so this week I used the Getaway Vibes sticker book and the Let Your Heart Wander sticker book. And this is really outside of like my comfort zone, working with like blues and more cool tones, but I, did, I do like how it turned out. And my boyfriend got me this sticker from the Barrett's Coffee Roasters in Austin. Very cute. And then this is the current week here. Let me pull out my bookmark. And then this is my November habit tracker that I've been experimenting with. This is my Thanksgiving week spread. And I just love how this one turned out with the cornucopia here at the bottom. It looks like a Thanksgiving table, like all set up to eat. And I'm still working on this spread. Again, it's only Saturday, so I'm gonna continue to work on this. And actually, I did this, and then I did this, and okay, I need a couple, I need to do a couple more things this weekend. But yeah, this was a good, a good spread. And so this is the last spread in the month of November, and then following I have here what should have been the December like currently December overview, but I wanted to use it as like a scrapbooking place for all of the Austin to San Diego road trip adventures. So I just put a bunch of stickers on this page. We went to White Sands National Park, so the sticker is from there. We also stopped by Pistachio Land, which is surprisingly fun in Alamo Gordo, New Mexico, right next to White Sands. And then I had to put this huge road trip sticker here at the bottom. We went hiking, so I put a hiking sticker and I just like popped stickers around here. And then I just sprinkled a bunch of star stickers all over to, to just like shush it up. And I think it turned out really cute. And then these pages are my scrapbooking pages from our adventure. These pages are actually from like a scrapbooking pack from the Happy Planner and I never realized that they have like a whole scrapbooking memory keeping like accessory pack that gives you a bunch of scrapbooking pages and they're all in that theme of like the adventure weights, cactus, fantasy, whimsical, adventure, boho, road trippy theme. I wish I knew what the name of that planner was. I I just call it the Adventure Weights Planner, but I will pop a picture of that planner whenever I 
talk about it on screen so you know which planner I'm talking about. But these scrapbooking pages are all in that same theme and I used stickers from that same theme um, from the All the Essentials sticker book to decorate the pages as well. So this page is a, a postcard that I got from White Sands National Park and then a photo that I printed of me at White Sands and then I just used washi tape and stickers to decorate it all. On the back, this one's probably my favorite page that I did. This is a postcard again and then also another picture of me and my boyfriend Steven. And then I just added some details here and a little road trip sticker. And then this page is another postcard and a photo of Steven at White Sands. And then I just journaled a little bit about how it went. And on the back, we have another photo of White Sands. This is a photo that Steven took, actually. He's so good about taking photos. I always forget to take photos. And I don't feel like my phone takes good photos either. So I just rely on other people mostly Steven to take photos so that I can print for my scrapbooking. This little um, description of White Sands National Park is actually from a sticker that I put into my passport book. But here, let me read it really quick. Soap treat yucca is one of the hardy plant species that survive on these dazzling Chihuahuan desert dunes of gypsum sand. Visitors learn about the National Park's fascinating flora during strolls through the visitor center's outdoors native plant garden. The dunes' wonders are revealed during dunes' drive tours, hikes, and thrilling sled runs down the snow white slopes. And this is just a really cool adventure sticker that I put down here in the corner. I found like a huge pack of vinyl stickers at my local thrift store for like $40. It was like an immense pack and I found like a bunch of like camping and adventure stickers in it. So a lot of these stickers are from that like random thrift store pack that I got. And then this is the last scrapbooking page um, from the White Sands Adventure. This is our pistachio land page and we took a picture in front of the world's largest pistachio statue. Of course we had to get pistachio ice cream. And on the back, I just have a couple more stickers and I journaled some more. I really, really like these stickers here. These are both from White Sands National Park and they were selling this sticker, which is actually a sticker for next year's um, Great Western Annular Eclipse. We're actually going to experience a total solar eclipse on October 14 um, next year. And like the like total solar eclipse is gonna be visible through a lot of New Mexico, Utah, Nevada, and Oregon. So if you're interested in checking out that solar eclipse from a more remote site like a national park, definitely start booking now. I think I'm going to try to see it from like Bryce Canyon, Glen Canyon, Canyonlands. We shall see, but I'm really, really excited for that. And I love these stickers. I love the um, national park stickers and postcards that that have that like um, night theme. And, and then they have this slogan that says, half the park is after dark. I just love these stickers so much. And then this sticker is from that like thrift store pack. But yeah, that was my scrapping, scrapbooking adventure. And I think I might leave these for now because I just made these and I don't mind holding on to them for a little bit longer. Oh, I forgot my little habit tracker. Let's put that there. Okay, so this is the December divider and I think I'm gonna stick with this one. I think it's super cute. Again, this is from this planner here. And I'm just gonna transfer it over. I was gonna set up that divider, but I feel like this video is already long enough. So we're gonna split it into a new video. But I will just transfer all of these pages over. And this month, the spine is this beautiful lilac color. This color changes every month and like the little design up here changes as well. So this month it is a flower and the spine is purple. And then this is the last week of the year. Apparently New Year's Eve is a Saturday and New Year's Day is a Sunday, which is fun. And then this is the January overview. I've already picked out my January month and this is from the Disney seasonal. And I just love this one so much. I love when they put like seasonal doodles up and down the spine here. So they have snowflakes for January. And this is the new color block layout, which doesn't have that wonky weekend situation going on. This might be one of my like favorite layouts nowadays. And I like how the pages um, alternate between having Mickey and Minnie 
um, over there and then having like the seasonal Mickey and Minnie doodle on the sidebar. And I love how we have a little doodle here on the currently pages as well. And February, I've already picked out February as well. This is also from the Mickey Seasonal. This is one of my favorite planners that came out. And for the spine, we have these hearts, which is amazing. So let me pull out all these pages. And then for March, I grabbed this Spoonful of Faith planner or divider. This is actually from an accessory pack, like an extension pack. So I don't have an actual planner of Spoonful of Faith, but I did have this extension pack. I'm not sure if I'll stick with this one though. I have it in here for now, but when March rolls around, we shall see how I feel about that one. And I also have the same Spoonful of Faith um, divider for the month of April. But again, I'm not sure if I will stick with these pages when we get to those months. And then for May, I grabbed Disney Farmhouse. And again, I just grabbed some dividers that I felt like I wanted to use for those months. But usually what happens is as we get closer to the day or to the month, I'll change my mind, especially with like all of the new planner releases and stuff. So, oh, the rings are starting to come off here. So the last month that I have in here is the month of June. Let me take these rings off. And now I'm going to grab my lavender expander discs and then put everything on with the star gazer cover. Okay, I think we're all set up and I just wanted to change up my bookmark. So I was using this to mark my monthly, but I think I'm gonna use this one here. I've been kind of wanting to do something a little bit more neutral and a little bit more like see-through. So I think we're gonna go with this Mickey bookmark. Perfect. And I'll stick with this bookmark for my weekly. I really like this, um, this bookmark. It's from the Disney Farmhouse collection and it's just nice and neutral and also fun with the Mickeys. So I think that's it. I think we're all set up here. I really, really like how the purple discs look with everything. And this is it. This is gonna be my December um, Thick and Juicy Home Life Planner. And right now, I bet I could fit this on regular sized classic discs, but I'm sure that it will get really, really thick as it usually does. I always just like add so much in terms of like scrapbook paper and also just, I like thicken up the pages so much with stickers that it just gets really, really thick. But anyways, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you're changing up your planner for the month of December and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed and happy planning. Bye.